news and someone watched the Pokemon Fire Red episode 2 before they actually watched the first one and the only the first thought that went through my mind was just why and who because I like to watch things in order to be honest and I don't think I uploaded those in the wrong order but someone apparently wanted to watch the second one and then the first one so you know all the power to you man if you're the one that did that you just keep on trucking just continue watching stuff out of order if you will I'm actually really proud I got this on the second try going through I didn't have to backtrack too much did not find a Pikachu should probably find a Pikachu um yeah should definitely go back and find a Pikachu uh, because the second gym ugh, the second gym is the um is Misty and she is water and water is super effective against fire which I happen to be fire and uh, Pikachu which is electric would be super effective against um, water and I don't think I have any other Pokemon right now that are super effective against water I know that um, Barnabas, uh, he's such a dick. I really want a Pikachu, so I'm treating my Clifford one. You guys are living in a world where Pokemon are real, and you're playing Pokemon. Why? Uh. Let's do, um, voices, oh, can I, oh, um, okay, let's do here, I am, ah, you know what, fuck it. keep it that's my profile what I gave you my profile I am a Pokemon <laughs> I'm a Pokemon egg there we go yeah cool now that you know better it makes us better friends than ever but I don't want to do that I did that because I want to do everything and I'm not sure if that does something for me later on if I do that now um, what do I need to do now? So, this is the place with the gym. Bet you I can beat it before the Game Grumps did. Also, probably can beat it because of the fact that I was doing that special training on my own. And his Pokemon are going to be like level 12 and mine are 15. <laughs> Puberty. It's... Well, not puberty, but voice cracking. That is a shitty situation right there. If you want to know a bad situation, go through several years of your voice cracking relentlessly. So, I made a comment about this and it got a lot... What? Did I say you could miss? No, use Metal Claw. Um, I made a comment about this on... Uh, Game Grumps because they they mention it, but it was mentioned that uh, how it, it was asked how Geodude was flying because I mean it's a rock, so kind of makes sense to ask why the hell it's flying. Uh, and I I was reading up on the Pokedex entries because I wanted I, I was very curious about whether or not Geodude. Bleh, Geodude was flying. Um, I don't have my list of advantages and disadvantages near me. I don't know where that went. Uh, oh, it's way the hell over there, I think. 
should probably stop using Gust. It's obviously not that effective. But whatevs. Oh gosh. Um. Let's just quick attack it. Yeah. I'm still gonna kill you. Sandshrew is one of my favorite Pokemon. But anyway, uh, I'll talk more about that later. Um. Geodude is not a flying Pokemon. He does not have the ability to levitate. He, uh, he rolls around, and over time, his rocky-ass face... Ooh, yeah, I knew this was happening, but I... I okay, let's have a seizure together, because this is just ridiculous. It's better than in the original game, because in the original game, getting your Pokemon to evolve, it looked ridiculous um yeah geodude was uh he rolls around on his fucking stupid face and <laughs> uh as he rolls around you can tell how old a geodude is i guess because of um how smooth their faces are that's that's what I was told anyway. Uh, let's go, Bartimus. Bartimus. Uh, you can tell how old they are because of their face and how smooth it is. Yeah, I don't go. Okay, let's do this, Brock. You can tell how old they are because of how smooth their face is, and uh, that's because you know, as I said, they roll around, and it's kind of funny because apparently people will step on a Geo dude thinking that the Geodude are rocks. And I just have to laugh my ass for that off at that. Oh, you are not gonna be a very good one for this, are you? Okay, well, I'm gonna keep you in for now. You guys have to deal with this, because I don't wanna switch out Pokemon for now. Actually on second thought I might just do that. Oh jeez. Good job. Five times? And you hit them with the equivalent of one tackle, I think. Not that I'm judging my Pokemon. I'm very proud of all of them. Uh, so I mentioned earlier that Sandshrew was one of my... Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to... Even with that being not very effective, it was still more effective than the Fury Swipes. Um... Sandshrew, when I was little, I always saw Sandshrew and I thought he was like super adorable. That's my only reasoning for having him be really high up there on my list of favorite Pokemon. Uh, now, however, that list has kind of changed. Uh, I have to say Haunter is my favorite Pokemon. Not Gengar, but Haunter. I don't know why, though. Probably, like, he's a bit adorable if you ask me. And also, I love the some of the Pokédex entries. For example, his lick, or his tongue, has a poison on it that, uh... Ooh, yeah, so I'm gonna switch out Pokémon here. It has a poison on it that could potentially cause paralysis in its victims, as well as, uh... Hyperfang. It could also cause them to die, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, and there's a lot of meh, Pokemon that are like that where, you know, if they... Let's just do this again. If they do certain things, then it's really demonic, like Kabutops, Ka Kabutops, that one. It evolves, or it's a, the final evolution of that chain it uh in the pokedex entry it states that it kills people which is pretty cool well okay it's not cool that's kind of fucked up to be honest but it's interesting i guess would be the uh the the phrase that i'm looking for no 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 oh oh okay okay i can still move back in the first pokemon <laughs> There were so many times when I got stuck fighting up against a bell sprout, bell sprout because it kept using bind, 
and I was on my Charmander, so naturally if I was able to move, I'd have been able to kill it in one hit. However, with it using Bind, and at that point when you used Bind, it caused the other person to not be able to move, um, you hit this point where you can't do anything. And that's just really shitty, if you ask me. He's like, oh, well, what am I going to fucking do now? Use Quick Attack. Please don't use Rock to... Please, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're safe for now. I really want this Pidgey to get the... the oh, no. That may be a problem. Yeah. So the second thing about flying types is... They're immune against uh, ground type moves, so um, magnitude and stuff like that. I can't think of any other moves right now. I'm sorry, but magnitude. I think di yeah, dig is they're they're uh, immune to dig, but rock type moves are super effective against them. So if you're going up against a flying